In iOS 8, we have some new features to take use of in messages. So first of all, I'm going to uh, go to any message, it doesn't matter, and just hit the details button. So first of all, you'll see uh, at the top, you can see the participants of that message. So if it's just one person that you're texting, it'll just be one name. And then in a group message, you can view all the people that are in that group. And I can really easily add people to that group. Now, only in a group message, you can now add a name to the message by scrolling up a little bit and you'll see subject. So I could tap on here and name this. So the three awesome people. There we go. Okay. So uh, another uh, feature, this is both for uh, group messages and for uh, single text messages, you can send your current location. So it'll send kind of in a message, say like, hey, this person is here and it'll show a little map. Or you could share your location for an hour until the end of the day or indefinitely. And what that'll do is people can then hit their details button and see where you are on this details page with a little map. And they can do that uh, within the time period that you choose and it will keep updating with where you are. Another feature, again, both for group messages and solo messages, are do not disturb. So you can mute the notifications for the conversation. This is probably especially useful for group conversations. Uh, I'm going to take a look at something else. Um, let's go to details. I want to look at attachments. That's the next thing. So. I wanted to jump over here so I didn't show anyone's faces without their consent, but uh, attachments basically lets you view all of the uh, pictures and videos that have been sent in that conversation. This is just a one-stop shot of all those things because sometimes someone may have sent you something a real long time ago and in order to find it you would have had to scroll up forever in order to find it. Uh, but now it's just all right there and you can really easily view all those attachments at once. Also in a group message you can opt to leave the conversation if just if things get just a little too annoying. If do not disturb isn't enough you just leave the conversation in its entirety. So one more thing I want to show in the messages is tap to talk. Now this is both for voice and audio. It's this little if you notice this little microphone down here in the uh, bottom right hand corner. So this is very similar if you've used Facebook messages. I know they've had this in their messaging feature for a while where you just kind of tap and hold on it and it automatically starts recording your voice as you can see right here there's some sound waves going through and it's it's a uh, there's a timer now I have a couple of options I can move my finger over to the left to delete that's where the X is I can move my finger up to immediately send that recording and you can see the recording sending there and then I actually sent this to myself, so I just received it back, and this is how the uh, receiver will receive it. Uh, and the receiver can just hit the play button, and it automatically starts recording. Your and you may be able to hear right here, this hear it being played. Going through and it's, it's, uh, okay, so we'll pause that. And Maybe there we go. Okay, so. Uh, what happens is these recordings are actually uh, sensitive to when they're open. So they're only able to be opened once unless you hit this keep button. Then the person, uh, the recipient, will be able to listen to it indefinitely. Now that third option I was about to talk about, let's go back to this uh, recording. Uh, we'll start a new recording. So there it goes. It's now recording me. Uh, the third option, other than going to the left to delete or going up to send, you can just take your finger off and kind of review the recording. So now I can hit the play button and review what I said. And then if I like it, I can now tap the uh, send button. Or if I don't like it, I can delete it. I think in the Facebook messaging feature, uh, they actually didn't have this. Uh, in the Facebook messaging feature, whatever you said had to be sent. So there was no way to review it. So now you can actually review your choice with this. So uh, one other thing you can do is a video. So you can do the video on the other side with the camera icon. So I just tap and hold that. And there you can see my uh, beautiful camera and my not so beautiful face. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so now uh, it's it'll take a picture if I go up. And then if I go to the right, it will take a video. So let's try a picture first. So it just took an immediate picture and sent it. 
Now I can also take a video if I go to the right. And so now it's recording a video. And much like the uh, audio recordings, if I go up, it will immediately send. Uh, if I go back to the video, start recording a video, if I come off, I can actually uh, preview what I had recorded. To the video, start recording a video. And then I can choose to send it or delete it.